Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. Well, we're getting back to work today on the new hoop coop that we are building for our new flock of layer chickens. It's coming together well. We wanted to review just real quickly for those of you who didn't see the first video where we started this. Uh, we're gonna walk you around, show you what we've already done, and then we're gonna get back to work. We're hoping to finish it up yet today. All right, so the hoop coop that we're making is uh, seven feet wide by 12 feet long. We're making it out of cattle panels. Uh, and then we framed in the front and the back to make it nice and strong. And we've also added a door here. A lot of you were asking after the first video about this kit that we used to make the door. Uh, it's a kit that we've had for a long time. We actually recycled it off an old gate that we had. Uh, but I did find it on Amazon, so I added it to our Amazon shop so you can go and take a look at it there. But it's kind of a neat thing. It comes with all the braces and the hinges are already, already built in and you basically, you don't have to cut any angles or anything. You just add some two by fours and you can make a nice sturdy door. So, so again, uh, seven feet wide, 12 feet long, which gives you about six foot two inches at the top. Uh, so really, I think this is gonna be a great size for these chickens that we're raising. Uh, eventually they will be free range, but while they're little yet, they'll be living in here, uh, you know, strictly in here to keep them safe from predators. So a few things that we have to do today, we're gonna to put some chicken wire over the entire thing and then cover it with some heavy duty vinyl. And uh, then we're gonna add some perches and other things and make it ready for them. And then hopefully we'll be able to move them in by this evening. We'll see if we can get that all done. It's already getting later in the day, but I think we can do it if we work hard. Now, if you wanna know more details about how we built the frame and all of that, go back and watch the first video. We'll leave a link to that so you can see that. Otherwise, we're gonna to get to work. We're gonna to try to finish this up. Now the chicken that wire that we're going to be using is just standard chicken wire, uh, nothing fancy. It's six feet, six feet wide, uh, which is gonna work out perfect. Two pieces will go over and do our 12 foot length. Uh, this is a 50 foot roll, and if my calculations are right, we should need about 46 feet for this project. So hopefully we don't mess anything up because we don't have a lot of extra. All right, so we're basically going to just put this up and roll it over and then we'll attach it on both sides. We're gonna just staple this to the top of the board and then we're gonna uh, use some hog clips to attach it to the wire. Now that we have this stapled at the bottom on the first side, we're gonna go ahead and use some hog clips to attach the chicken wire just along the side here of the cattle panel. All right, now that we have it stapled on one side and connected along the front, we're just going to cut this other side. Now I'm gonna leave plenty of overhang because sometimes with this chicken wire, it's not perfectly straight. So I want plenty of extra. So when I get to the other end of this piece, I'm not left short or anything. So I'm gonna just cut this all the way down and then we'll staple this side as well. Now we won't attach this back side until after we put the second piece on in case we need to overlap a little or whatever. Uh, plus then we can double up and, and not use as many of the hog uh, clips. We can just double up and do both pieces at once. All 
All right, now that that first piece is completely attached, we're going to just repeat the uh, same thing with the second piece. All right, we've got both pieces of our wire over and attached at the ends and on both sides. Now where the two pieces of wire meet here in the middle, I'm going to use what are called J clips to fasten those together. Sometimes they're called cage clips. They look like this and you use what's called a J clip pliers and they just go in like that. And then you'll just take two pieces of the wire where they come together, squeeze that around and you can see that that fastens them together real nice and tight. So we'll just do that all the way up and over to the other side. Well, it's the next day. We didn't get nearly as much done as we'd hoped last night because someone stopped by and we had to take some time to talk to someone. And so we just didn't get as much done as we had hoped, but we did finish getting those J clips on like we had showed you. Now we put those all the way across where the two pieces of wire meet. And then we actually put some kind of down toward the bottom, a couple rows up on the hog panels to hold it real secure so that if predators would try to kind of rip in, uh, it's held closer to the, to the cattle panels. So the next step is to put the chicken wire on the back side and the front side. And so that's what we're gonna start working on. <music> So we have the piece of wire rolled out over the back here. Obviously it's not attached yet. We did attach it just at the top here with a couple zip ties just to hold it in place. So now we can kind of pull down tight and we'll be able to staple it. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fold it like this and we'll staple it to the top of this board at the bottom. Once we get that done, uh, we'll staple it, you know, quite a few times throughout here. And we'll, uh, and then on the sides here, we're gonna bend this over and then we're gonna use those same J clips that we used in the middle to attach this piece of wire to the piece of wire on the outside. And that way uh, we won't have to cut. We won't have to cut this angle. We'll just, uh, we'll just J clip those pieces together. So now that we have that attached at the bottom, we're gonna go through, I'm gonna put a bunch of zip ties along this piece here. Then we'll use those J clips to pull and, and attach all of this loose stuff back over to this side. So that'll give some good strength, but the zip ties I think will just be the easiest here. Uh, and then we'll also have this attached. So even if a predator were to somehow get the zip ties loose, this is gonna be attached back here and that will still be able to you know, be tight on there. So we've got the zip ties on all the way across. We're gonna go now and put the J clips on. So basically, you know, this is a square piece. So when we put this across, there's all this extra. Instead of cutting that off, we're gonna fold this over and then just kind of bend it to fit. And then when we put those J clips on, we'll put those to hold all of this tight.
All right, so we're ready to start putting the wire on the front here. Uh, but there's a few things that I want to do first. The first thing is I'm going, I decided I'm going to put a board across the door here just so we have more uh, area to staple the wire to. I think this is too big of a piece to just leave loose there. And then on the inside of the door, even though these gates only swing one way, you see it kind of goes back a little bit like that. Over time, that's going to be hard on these gates. So I'm going to put a board behind here. Just a piece, scrap piece of 2 by 4 I'm going to put back here just so it has something to hit up against and it can't swing backwards. So we're going to do that first and then I'm going to install the board here. All right, we're going to put this board right There's no reason why I'm putting it in any certain place other than I thought it would look good at the top of these braces here. That's it. All right, I'm gonna screw it from the inside. I put some pocket holes on the back side, so we'll screw that in from back there. All right, that's all done. That, that worked out good. Just a little plate there to hit up against. And now we'll be able to start putting our wire on. What we've decided to do for the wire on the front is to basically do the same thing as the back. We're gonna roll a solid piece out over the whole thing, staple it into place, and then cut it around the door. I think that that will work good and should be a nice, strong front. We have the wire all attached to the front. So now it's time to cut out around the door. And then we may need to add more staples after that. We'll see how it all kind of works. Uh, I've never really done it like this before, so we'll see what's gonna happen. Well, we cut all the way around the door and Lo and behold, it actually works. I'm pretty excited. Uh, all, the only thing we did after we cut is we bent some of these back a little bit, uh, just so as you're going in and out, you don't get scratched. But uh, I think that's really good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some latches to these. I just bought some you know, real simple latches like this. I'm gonna put one here in the middle and then I'm gonna put one down at the bottom too, just for extra security. So. Now we're going to add those now and then we'll be ready to start on the vinyl. All right, so I'm putting my latches on here and I'll show you guys a trick that I like to use because they always, they sell this thing that comes along with it and that's supposed to slide in there like that to lock it. But if your boards aren't perfect, if, if these don't line up perfectly, I mean, they make this thing so tight that, that it barely fits in there. So, a trick that I like to do, because these didn't work the way they were supposed to, I showed you guys that wire hanger material that I used along the bottom on the last video. I like to use that same stuff and just bend it basically into the shape of the latch. And then just use a piece of that. You can make it a little bit bigger. 
you can bend it to where you actually need it and then that will work just fine it just gives you a little more leeway it makes your life a little easier down the road and you can see that that makes a great latch just gives you a little more leeway in there still is good and secure but it gives you more play in there so it doesn't make your life so difficult down the road we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom all right so those are done we can now move on to putting the vinyl up over the top this thing is coming together great i'm excited to get this done we've got the vinyl to do and we're going to build a perch in there for the chickens and we'll be able to put them in there hopefully before the end of this video okay let me show you the vinyl that we're going to be using to cover this chicken coop with it's actually billboard material we got these from a friend on this side is just you know the billboard you would see when you're driving down the road and then the other side of it is black so we have pretty much cut this into the size that we need it's still a little bit big we just wanted to be safe make sure we didn't cut it too short uh, so we're going to be pulling this over and then attaching it in different ways and this is just going to be really great cover it's nice and heavy duty nice heavy duty vinyl this will be great for covering this hoop coop somewhere we have this over and we've put now a screw with a washer here and over on that side so we know that the front is lined up exactly where it needs to be now when we originally cut this this is the side this is the piece that we cut so we know this is a nice straight edge right here. So we're gonna go ahead and fasten this the entire length. That side over there eventually is gonna to need to have some more cut off. So we'll attach that last. And then after that's attached, we'll cut, you know, just past the screws. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then we're gonna do one more thing to really make sure that this stays on nice and tight. We've got this all secured on both sides so now we're going to just go ahead and we're going to cut off this extra that we have here now i'm going to leave a little bit extra you know maybe a few inches just in case these would ever rip a little bit it's got some you know it's not going to just rip completely out Now we have this extra here, so I'm gonna cut that off too. No. To make it easier for myself, I'm first gonna just cut halfway up. The last thing that we're going to do to really secure the top to this is to add some of this wind strap. This is actually the same stuff that we used on our greenhouse and we had some left over. So we're going to use it on here as well. Basically what this will do is it'll connect on one side here on the outside of the, of the vinyl. And we'll throw this over and it'll go all the way across and this will run on the outside of the vinyl. And that way it'll really hold their, that on there tight and the, if the wind hits it, it's gonna pull on this. It's not going to pull that top right off. This uh, stuff works awesome. We've used it for several different things now, and I think this is gonna be great. We're gonna put five pieces of this along the length of the chicken coop. Okay, ready? Yep. 
got it. Okay. Roll this whole big roll. Okay. Done? Well, it's complete. Everything is done except putting the chickens in. Let me show you guys the, the tour of it and then we'll move it to where we're going to put it for the chickens. We'll get the chickens all set up. So come on inside. I'm really happy with the way that this heavy vinyl uh, billboard material worked. It's on there really nice and tight. The chicken wire is on nice and tight. I think this is going to be a nice secure house for the chickens. I did add a perch down here. Uh, it's just a two by four that I, I notched out and put on here. I put it pretty low right now because our chickens are still pretty young, but we'll be able to raise it up as they get older. And if we need to, we can put a second one in here. So I think that'll be great. Uh, there's plenty of room in here. Like I said, initially they're going to live in here full time because uh, they're still pretty small. So until they're big enough to free range, they'll be in here. So there's plenty of room for their food and water in here. Now we have gotten a lot of questions about this as to whether or not we're going to use this like a chicken tractor where we'll move it around to different spots. Our intention is not to do that. And in fact, if I were going to use it for that kind of purpose, I would add quite a bit more bracing to the base and things because moving it around will really put a lot of strain on it. Our intention is to put this in one permanent spot and to keep it just in one permanent spot for the chickens. So initially, while there's nice grass in here, we probably won't uh, do anything in the way of bedding. But after that, we will, you know, eventually they're going to kill out the grass that's in here just from scratching around and everything else. Then we'll just put hay in here or straw in here like we would any other type of coop. And uh, eventually, when they get older, we'll put nest boxes in as well. We're going to move this over to another spot on our farm where we're going to actually put the chickens. And then we'll get them out of the chicken tractor that we currently have them in and let them go in here and see how they like it. Well, the chickens are all moved in. I don't know how you tell whether or not a chicken is happy, but I think they look like happy chickens. They're very curious anyway, and they're exploring their surroundings. A lot of them have gone up on the perch already, so that's not gonna be a big deal for them. They'll be able to make it up there. We've got their food and their water in there already. They're just having a really great time. We are really happy with the way that this turned out. Uh, I know some of you had concerns about whether or not it would hold up in the wind. Uh, as far as it actually blowing over, I think it would take a pretty strong wind for that to happen because this thing is heavy. We had a really hard time yeah, moving we it. We actually had to move it with the tractor in order to get it over here. Now, when we do find for sure where the permanent location is going to be, what I will probably end up doing is driving some T-posts at the back and the front and then securing it to the T-posts as well just to really make sure. But uh, for right now, I think it's gonna be just fine just sitting here the way that it is. And we're just really happy to have this done. Uh, it's a great project, took us really two days to make. And if we had would have had full days each day, we probably could have gotten this built in one solid day. You guys, we hope you enjoy joining us for this project, and we hope it gave you guys some ideas for things you can do on your homestead. If you're enjoying our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, and the best way that you can help us is to share our videos. Thank you so much for doing that. And until next time, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care, and God bless. God bless.